Okay guys, so do a walkthrough here of a composite poster. What you will be making for this current final product. <clears throat> as well as your the second project, the final student choice project where you will be making anything you want. So this one isn't a holistic representation of everything you'll be doing for this for this project as you'll be needing to incorporate <clears throat> needing to incorporate checkpoint 10 as well as at least one other of the checkpoints but this one is really good for how to make a composite poster uh, as well as all of the the other kind of things you will need to do um, so this one is made up of I believe Okay, let's just bring everything down here. And also take note of the organization as well within the layers panel. All right. So we have this picture along with this picture. Let me put that out there. So here's two pictures and then the vultures as well. So this, <clears throat> this poster is made up of three different pictures first thing I did was <clears throat> was to create a composite not a composite but a mask of the vultures to get those vultures masked out I'm gonna let you choose um, the ways to go about doing that for this one I used I just used the pen tool it was uh, it was the most efficient for me Whenever I did select subject, uh, didn't quite get everything that I wanted. So I had to take a little bit more time. And then there's this background one here. I really liked the way it was. I didn't want to make it larger in order just to, to fit the rest of the document size because it, uh, it kind of ruined the scene that was right here. I liked how these clouds were going. So my task was to find another cloud picture and to, to incorporate it with this picture so I found this one right here where's that there we go and uh, just softly masked out kind of the bottom and portions of it with the light um, brush carefully lowered the flow now they're not um, they're not working quite right here. I could, if I didn't want to, I, it, this didn't matter to me because I knew that I was always going to do a, this gradient map, right? And the gradient map, as long as you're using the same colors, it's, it's going to pull everything together and you won't be able to tell that there are two different scenes. One thing I could do, if I didn't want to do a gradient map, I'd select the picture that I want and I can go up to filter in order to try and make these two pictures look as though um, what we call in Photoshop as color grading that they that the light is the same within the picture obviously in these two pictures the lighting is different because two different pictures of the outside but we could go up to filter neural filters now this one is still in beta mode but we have here harmonization, which you see is a little clouds. You'll have to download it once, but once you've downloaded once, uh, you won't have to download it anymore. So I can click on harmonization, click that on button, go over here to select a layer. Now I need to select the layer that I want, because um, I'm on this layer, right, with this um, cloud scene and I need to select what layer I want to harmonize it with and I want to harmonize it with the clouds here in the background which is this layer I'll click on that you see it's processing and that's what it did and I can increase so here's the before got much brighter and the after there you go that did a, fair, a really good job and I can increase the strength of it make it blend even a little bit more there we 
go. You can also adjust uh, the brightness. If I think it's a little still too bright of the scene, I can adjust the yellows. There's actually a lot of blues in there, so yeah, maybe if I put a little bit more yellows in mine. There we go. That's creating an even better harmonization there. Even better. Let's add a little bit more yellow. Even more. All right. So, there's our before, and here's our after. All right. They do now look with that little bit of masking done there, and this harmonization. They look as though they're from the same picture. But as I said, and then here, whenever I choose output, um, you can choose to output to a new layer or as a smart filter. Either one would be fine. I'm going to hit cancel. Just wanted to show you how to do that. But like I said, uh, I did my gradient maps here. And I created these from scratch. All right? I wanted kind of this golden um, look to it. Increased the contrast right by a little bit made it more interesting uh, oh there's another picture in here these little bees right here and I just added bees and uh, then <clears throat> then I needed to add the text I began with just something to eat so this text how did I how did I get it um, behind the clouds there you can see there's, there is a little bit of a, a mask, but they're still behind the clouds. How did that happen? If we double click here, you'll see down here blend if. Now I'm going to go over this actually in more detail in another video here. But um, I'm blending the dark colors of the underlying layer into my type here. So these dark clouds. Be on the lookout, um, and I'll add it to the final product along with this one, the blend if walkthrough, because it's pretty powerful and important. So I used the blend if, and uh, just did a little bit more to get those, those that word behind the clouds. Two, right? You can tell what I did there. Masked it, as well as eat, and uh, I masked it behind these rocks a little bit. And then my shadows right here of eat onto the bird and across the rocks. Uh, as you can tell, it does matter. Made a lot of difference. And this, uh, that's my text. And I'm pretty much done after that. Boom. Added uh, a texture. This one only needed one. It was a little dark. An easy way to brighten. Right? You could go to your um, adjustment layers and go to brightness and increase the brightness that way. But I find um, a way that can often work better is just to create a brand new layer. You know, it doesn't even have to be a brand new layer. I did there. You could just do a solid color adjustment layer. Fill it with white. And then set that adjustment to overlay or soft light. Let's see here. What did I have mine set to? Yeah, see? Yeah, this one... And, oh, yes, and then lower the, the opacity, so this opacity, yeah, very high. So once we set this to overlay, right, what does overlay do? It makes the bright areas brighter, the dark areas darker, and it leaves the midtones just as they are. But this is too bright, but at least now I have, I have something I can adjust until I have picture I want at the brightness level that I want. You can always click on and off. So that's working okay. It looks like I had this one at 5%. And even 20% is fine there. So that is a um, that's a composite poster, guys. You can tell a lot of masking. Um, and a lot, Gradient maps. And the idea first is also what is important. What it is you're, you're wanting to create and then bringing that together in Photoshop.